So today what we're doing is a product review on Daya and what this is is a meatless meat lover with pepperoni style slices you know that that's not pepperoni right and Italian sausage style crumbles and that's also not hamburger. It's gluten free pizza. It has dairy and soy free. It's cholesterol is zero per one quarter pizza. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living! The directions are real easy. I started my oven at 475 degrees, that's 240 degrees Celsius. I removed the plastic wrap and I placed the pizza in the oven, directly in the middle of the rack. Well, I haven't done that yet because, because it's in the box. <laughs> um, in the last piece, I'll bake the pizza for 15 to 20 minutes and, it, and that means that the oven is ready, so we're going to get started. Let's open her up. Oh look, it's got a little pulley tab thing. Hopefully you guys won't have this problem. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you take a look at it. So I'm gonna take a picture of it real quick. All right, so then you pull the wrapping off of it. Now I happen to have a pizza pan Okay, so then you take the plastic topping from it. Scissors would be a lot easier to use than a knife. And carefully take the, that way you don't lose any of your little goodies. Like I just spilt a little bit on. I have this um, metal aluminum container. Remove the, the, the cardboard from it. Okay, put that back in the center. When the oven is ready to go, I'm going to show you as I put the it in the oven. La, 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 la. Okay, so it's supposed to be 450 degrees and it's not there. The little noise I was getting was that the door was open. 475. So we're going to wait till it gets to 475 degrees. That's about here, this is 337, and as soon as that gets to that point, then we'll put this pizza in and get it cooking. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so it's now 475 degrees. We're putting the pizza in the oven. Just have to be careful you don't get burned. Close the door. And according to the directions here, we are going to We're going to leave it in there. Let's see, remove a wrap kit okay, for 15 to 20 minutes. So my oven is pretty much accurate. So I'm going to put it in for 20 minutes. I did. I did tell you that this is non-GMO ingredients. And that's something that's real important to some of you. So that's something that you need to. Do. Of course, they're using recycled paper. Let's see what else there is on here. And it's pretty much exactly what it says. Okay, so it's a thin crust pizza. I think you'll find that it's quite interesting when we pull it out of the oven. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, so the temperature uh, is still at 475. The timer just went off. It's time to remove the pizza. So what we're gonna do is get a mitt. So here it is on the plate. I've already cut it. Now watch me eat it. So 20 minutes was supposed to be ideal time for this pizza. Got carried away doing something else and the timer didn't go off. It's slightly overcooked, but you know what? It's still a very good pizza. It's still moist inside. The meatless pepperoni and the meatless crumbles taste very good. So I think that this is a good buy. Sometimes these things happen. You just gotta roll with the punches. Lucky for me, I have another one in the freezer. Or a different one and I'll be making another video on that one too. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you soon in our next video. If you like this channel please subscribe. If you like this video give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.